The Tampa St. Pete apartment market logged near record occupancy and rent growth in Q3. We'll run through a set of really impressive numbers for the Metro in today's edition of Apartment Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Greg Willett, joined today by Bill Kitchens. Bill, start us out talking about those impressive occupancy numbers in Tampa. The Tampa Bay region recently reported occupancy of 96.2%, up an impressive 110 basis points from this time last year. Um, this is the Metro's best result since the fall of 2006. In fact, the 2005-2006 period was the only time in history that occupancy proved to be tighter. And it's important to remember those 2005-2006 figures were being lifted by shrinking rental inventory, as this was the point in time when existing apartments were being converted into condos in large numbers. So overall, the occupancy results are really strong no matter how you look at them. Uh, with 95% occupancy or better across all neighborhoods and product niches. So strong occupancy that usually results in some good rent growth, and we've certainly seen that happen in the Tampa Bay market of late. During Q3, effective rents for new residents climbed 2.6%, and that pushed the annual rent growth number for new move-ins to 6.9%. The pattern relative to historical performance exactly matches what Bill talked about in those occupancy results. This is the best result on pricing power that we've seen since that 2005-2006 time frame. And going back to 2005-2006, that was the Metro's strongest performance in history. Breaking down the numbers by product niche, annual rent growth is running at 7.8% for Class A product and 7.6% for Class B product. And growth of 3.4% was seen in Class C communities. Now that's an interesting relationship since it doesn't match uh, the pattern seen as a nation as a whole. Typically Class B products are the, the leaders in all metros, but here in Tampa, Class A product is just as much pricing power as Class B product. One more topic to cover on the pricing front, and that's what's happening with renewal leases. And interestingly, it looks like operators might be leaving a little bit of money on the table in this category. Residents who remained in place when leases expired in Q3 now are paying 4.5% more than they were previously. While a renewal lease price bump of 4.5% isn't a bad result, it's a lot below the price increase that we saw for new residents who are coming in the front door. Maybe influencing that renewal price positioning is that Tampa is a place where turnover is a little bit more than what you see in most markets. As of Q3, 48% of the renters who reached the expiration of their leases in Tampa chose to renew. That's, again, marginally under the U.S. norm of about 51%. Let's turn to construction activity in Tampa. Right now, properties totaling 6,005 units are on the way. Um, and that's a similar level to what we've seen since two, 2013, so no real movement up or down. Central Tampa remains the dominant construction center on, on the submarket level. The addition of 2,864 units will grow the inventory approximately 18% over the near term. Clearwater and South St. Petersburg uh, are next on the list in terms of submarket activity, but even in those areas, the near term additions are roughly 700 to 900 units apiece. From our perspective, those new supply numbers look pretty digestible in the Tampa market. Um, so we are expecting that occupancy will remain about where it is right now. There could be some slowdown on pricing power simply because it is so sky high at this point. So we would look for the rent growth pace for new resident move-ins to slow to around the 5% mark over the course of the next year or two. So th those expectations are really healthy. So the news for Tampa, St. Petersburg is really good, even if the near-term performances don't quite reach performances posted right now. And that wraps up our look at the Tampa St. Pete apartment market. Thanks for joining us today on Apartment Market Dynamics. I'm Greg Willett. He's Bill Kitchens. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. 
Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.